What's up guys? Welcome to the second season summary to of Pretty Little Lies Season 4. Now just a reminder that you can get this now on DVD, you can check it out on Netflix and you can also buy it on iTunes now. Let's get back to the second half of Season 4. So the second half deals with the girls attempts to learn more about what happened during the summer who A is and how to bring Alison home. Meanwhile, Spencer begins taking um, amphetamines to cope with the workload from school, but develops a um, dependency on him. Um, ignoring a drug problem that um, unnervously, I can't read properly, I apologize, to the others to the others occurred before so basically in one of the um, episodes this in the second half of the season we actually get to learn that um this actually happened before so the summer that Ali disappeared well apparently was killed but actually um ran away um Spencer was actually one higher on uh, the amphetamines and it was very clear near the end of the season and um just dealing with an, an addiction is hard on anyone so if you guys have any issues with that or you need help I will chuck down some help stuff here in Australia and remember, you can always go look up the numbers and there's always going to be help out there for you. <sighs> um, now let's continue. Ara go, grows closer to Ezra, who the other girls believe is A, but breaks it off after learning that he's actually been writing a book about Alison's disappearance and knew her when they met. Now, this is a very interesting part of the storyline when they were trying to make Ezra a bad person here. Now, I admit, when I first watched this, I was very pissed off, thinking, why? He's a good one! But to use someone to write a book and to have a relationship for three to probably four years, it's very heartbreaking and... We saw um, Ariana cope with it. She wasn't coping properly. She went into Ezra's class and he actually took leave, and um, was having a was just having a massive breakdown. She leaves. She goes to Ezra's apartment, completely destroys it, and um, it was very very hard for um, Aria. And you see me at the end of the season, which I will explain more in a few minutes um that's how she really dealt, dealt, dealt with it because she did break up with jake to go be with ezra and it was a really was a good choice but anyway hannah mends her broken heart by pursuing a relationship with travis so in um after the episode of um the halloween episode um Caleb goes and helps um goes and helps Miranda which he leads to go to um Ra Ra Ravenswood but that was also cancelled and I'm hoping to actually go see it um and and Hannah gets interested in many mysterious numbers which leads to a friendship with Detective Holbrook now Hannah gets so fascinated with books, which was really, really very cool for her to go and read more about more, even more about the mystery with A and that and trying to really investigate. And it's really cool of um, Hannah. And I see her growing every season. She grows and she's incredible. Um, Ezra tells the girls that... Um, Ezra thinks one of them is A, but the but suspicion later shifts it to um, Ali's mum, basically. After reading more of the notes on Ezra's manuscript, 
Emily later tells Paige that Allison is alive and Paige betrays her trust by tipping off the police, which I understand that she wants to protect Emily, but that's the something that if someone's in incredible danger, you should never do that. But I would not know how the situation is as well. Suspecting that they can find clues at Ali's house, Hannah volunteers the girls to um, Ali's mom's bridal fashion charity show. Once they got into Ali's room, they found a password to an e an email address written on on a poster on Ali's money. They contact the number, and Al Al Allison actually rings them up. Uh, telling them to meet her in um, Philadelphia. They go there, basically, and um, they see Nor Condo, who brings them to Manhattan. That there, well, when they get there, um, and this is the very last episode of the season, which is basically recounts the entire entire what happened of the night that she disappeared and there's so much answers that is in that one episode which is episode 24 i recommend you guys actually go and watch that one because every single dotted line is is basically answered in that episode so everything that happened with um the girls disappearing, um, with Spencer, um, getting her memory back and, um, basically telling, um, her, Allison telling her that, um, she was full on, on, um, amphetamines and told her to go to bed. And that's what, ha and when you do see that, you see when someone is incredibly high on them and is dependent and hasn't had sleep for days, um, we see um, everything that happens with Ian. She did push um, Ian off the bell tower, but he was not dead. Um, let me just go down to the actual um, episode just so I can have some little blanks filled in for you guys. Um, basically, use the um, and and at videos to blackmailing. Ian, Ian basically trying to break up with Melissa, but that doesn't happen. Um, Toby does go back to goes to London to get um, Marissa to come back and to say that um, Spencer has relapsed. Um, then um, why um, Ali is telling the girls of what happened that summer. Um, we see that um, the mums are looking for them. All Spencer's family has are being interviewed because of um, possibly of her hurting him. The, the police tracks um, Spencer's GPS on her car. Um, then after when Allison's finished explaining what happened that entire season. Um, A basically comes and shots, basically comes, um, attacks the girls, um, corners them on the roof with a gun. Um, Ezra does, um, shows up and tries to intervene but is shot. Um, and you see the action of Ali, um, Arya, and, and trying to get him not to close his eyes, but he does, um, now let's go, <coughs> sorry, let's go to, <coughs> sorry, I need, need a drink, ah, that's better, um, then when it comes to the last scene of the entire, um, season, um, basically it shows, um, a lifeless, um, Jessica Delorentis being dragged across the lawn and being buried by A, and I freaking hate A. Um, so, that's, um, that is the second half of, um, this season summary. I'm going to talk more in the next half, more about what I really think and my favourite episodes.